Welcome to today's Shaman Short. Great tips, inspiration, and ways to live a more authentic and shamanic life. Join Dakota Walker from Gaia Wisdom School as she treks across the globe, bringing you these bite-sized pieces of wisdom for you to deepen your path back home to your soul. And now, from somewhere in the world, here's Dakota. These are my new friends. Yes. This one's a little ornery. Aren't ya? Yes. <laughs> then we have this tribe back here. Yeah. I'm in Colorado and these are um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this is just such a beautiful moment and experience to have. I'm in the White River uh, uh, wilderness area. I'm on this dirt road. And these guys are here randomly. And I don't think they like to be on camera. But um, so horse energy is something that I'm really, really uh, attuned to. And whenever I find horses, I tend to want to <laughs> spend a lot of time with them. And we have a natural relationship. And so spirit animals, uh, you have a power animal, and then you've also got spirit animals who kind of, uh, you, you resonate with their essence more than the normal. And sometimes unspoken. I had an experience yesterday where I felt like I had a past life with this horse that I'd found, and we had a little bit of karma that we had to work out. And, um, and we did. And we, we worked that out, and, and it was really good. And uh, the thing about horses is you have to go very slow and gentle, and you know it's um, they feel your emotions. They're very in tune, and so you always approach them with, uh, or at least I do, with great reverence and just that feeling of being um, connected and respectful. And you let them smell you, and you let them kind of dictate. And some of them really like to be on camera. <laughs> yes, it's uh, they they can be quite hams. Um, you know, this is a, is a giant animal, and you can't just <laughs> go barging in on their energy and so they kind of demand that respect but um, so if you have an animal that you really feel connected to and you, you don't really know why that likely is uh, an animal that is your um, animal spirit your animal essence and you know with these guys I just I can't even tell you how connected I feel to horses how much I, I love them and um, I feel like our, our energy meshes and coincides together and um, <laughs> and they're really they're very humorous they uh, um, and so sometimes your your animal essence uh, can reflect a, a part of you as well and oh I'm getting kissed and so you just learn to, to be with them and <laughs> I don't know quite what she's going to do <laughs> but I'm certainly getting sniffed and kissed um, your whiskers are a little rough there buddy <laughs> and this is what I love just to feel that connection to feel that kinship with them and that um you know, when you can have that moment with your animal essence, it's it's really powerful. It's uh, it's the uh, I, I can't even ow, I can't even describe. It. And so I just wanted to share that with you in this moment, actually, with you that um, you know, and just being able to get connected and find those parts of you that are. And everything around you, animals, trees, plants. Um, here comes my other buddy. I'll, I'll wait and introduce you to my other buddy. Uh, one of them I just about put to sleep. They, they seem, um, you know, when you're really connected to an animal, you can really feel 
uh, what they're feeling and, and vice versa. They feel you too. And these guys, for some reason, they feel really sad to me. And I don't know if it's because, I mean, literally, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And, um, come here, buddy. Let's introduce you. Yeah, this is, this is Stallion. He's the one that chases off the other ones. Come here, buddy. But they all look very sleepy and very, um, something. I'm just not sure what it is. But, um, and they have a lot of scars on them, a lot of burrs, and they've, they've been through some stuff. So, anyway, um, in Colorado here, they, I guess there's a lot of wild horses. These guys are not wild, but um, they're, they're probably riding horses that, uh, I don't know, maybe have retired. I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah, there's a lot of wild horses, and that's always my goal, is to try to win them over also. So, anyway, uh, here's this little guy. We got some more back there. They are, um, they are beautiful, beautiful creatures. And I think I'm going to stay here and commune with them just a little bit longer before I head on my way. And uh, so I wish you guys well. Find your your spirit animal essence, and um, and bring it into your life in some way, and really get connected to that energy, and see how they reflect you, and how you are reflected within them. And um, and I guarantee you that you'll you'll uh, forge a relationship that is is very powerful and very. Um, unique and it's 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 not like uh it's not like your power animal and it's not like your domesticated dog or cat although a dog or a cat may be your spirit essence but it's uh it's a really really rich and rewarding connection um, because it's so so incredibly heart-centered and um and that's what i feel with these guys it's just nothing but heart and love heart and love right Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next Shaman Short. Say bye, Henry. That's his name, Henry. You've reached the end of another episode of The Shaman Shorts. Connect with us at dakotaearthcloud.com. Don't forget to sign up to our newsletter to receive our free materials. See you at the next episode.